Hi guys, in the last video we understood about how to increase RAM in our virtual machine. But now understand there might be a requirement that you need to add more hard disk space. For example, uh, let's take you have a new directory slash apps and this directory you want to allocate somewhere around 100 GB. Okay, that's the space you want to allocate to slash apps. But if you see our virtual machine, we have earlier allocated how much 80 GB disk space, right? So this 80 GB contains the operating system and also if it is a live system, definitely you might have some more softwares which will be installed. So it is not possible to allocate 100 GB first of all out of that 80 GB. So what is the workaround? The workaround is to add a new hard disk to your virtual machine and once you add a new hard disk, we will see how can we mount that new 100 GB hard disk on slash apps. So first of all, make sure your VM is down. Go to settings and under settings, go to storage. Over here, you see the SATA controller, right? In this SATA controller, click on this one, which is add hard disk. So once you click create a new disk, it will be a VDI dynamically allocated. Uh, give a name to this disk like hard disk drive for apps i mean that's the folder name and over here mention the size of the disk i am allocating a 100 gb disk click on create so there is an issue with this one okay register hard disk because with this already exists okay so what i'll do is i'll give a new name for app okay we'll click on create yeah so this one works so now click on OK. Next our goal is to start the VM and meanwhile the machine comes up. Let me speak about uh, the steps that we are going to follow. The first step is add new hard disk at VM level. That's the first thing. Second thing uh, you have to format the new hard disk drive added to the operating system then what you need to do is uh, create file system on the partition because when you format you actually create partitions right so this is like create partitions then you have create file system on the partition next once it is done create slash apps directory right and finally mount uh, mount the new hard disk drive on slash apps so these are the steps and i think there is a final step add the directory mount under slash etc slash fs tab so this is a file system tab file in which we have to add this entry so these are the six steps we are going to follow first one we have already completed next we have to format the hard disk so let us get inside the virtual machine you will have to log in as root user provide the root user password we'll go for full screen mode Okay, so VM is up and running. Open a new terminal. Now type this command fdisk hyphen L. What is fdisk? It's a format disk utility that helps you to format hard disk within the Linux operating system. So when you start looking at the fdisk hyphen L command, you will see disk slash dev SDA right so what exactly is sd sd is nothing but storage device and a is the alphabetical um, number i mean it's not a number alphabetical uh, name assignment to the disk okay so this is like disk a that is first disk and you can see this one is disk b that is sdb and also you can see disk one that is sda is 85 gb disk b is somewhere around 107 GB. Can you see uh, these? I mean, the size of the disk is closely related to what we have assigned. So you might have a doubt like uh, 
when we have assigned 80 GB, how come it is coming 85? When we have assigned 100 GB to disk B, why it is coming 107? Because the way Windows count the GBs and the way Linux has its own sectors and cylinders. So Linux cylinders or sectors are a little small. So that's why what happens 80 GB in Windows will be a little bit more in Linux. So how do you identify? You just have to check this is close to what you have. Uh, I mean allocated at the VM level. So this is the disk one which we had allocated while we created the VM. Now we have a disk two that is SDB and our job is to create a partition on this SDB and then you know we create the file system then mount it on slash apps. So how are we going to format this disk? We again use F disk slash dev slash SDB. So this utility now will allow you to format this disk. You can see you are into a F disk command mode. You can type M for help. Now these are all the commands, but I'll quickly uh, create a disk. N, N is for new disk or new partition. We'll create a primary partition. Partition number would be one. Uh, default sector will go with whatever the default sector is. And last sector also I'm going with the default because I want to create one partition for the entire 107 GB space. So now just type W and hit enter. This will save the partition table. So now what you can do is F disk hyphen L slash dev slash SDB. You can see there is one partition that has been created SDB one. So all the partitions within a disk will be in a numeric series like you have one partition that means SDB one. If you have two partitions, you will have SDB one and SDB two. Okay. Now because we were supposed to create only one big partition. So this one entire SDB one partition right now is of size 107 GB. Now we have to define what type of file system this one would be. So MKFS that's the command dot XFS XFS is the file system slash dev slash SDB one. Okay, that's a storage command. You can just remember hit enter. Now you can see Linux has formatted this SDB one as XFS file system. Okay, so this file system has been created. Now our job is to make the directory mkdir slash apps. Okay, it's okay. It's already there. So well, uh, that's okay. I will directly mount it on the slash apps directory. So meanwhile, before I mount df-h slash apps, you can see the slash apps is mounted on root mount point. Okay, and root mount point is currently having 50 GB size. So this 50 GB is automatically allocated by the Linux or the uh, CentOS operating system. You remember while we were installing the CentOS, we have selected automatic partitioning. So in the automatic partitioning, it has allocated 50 GB to the root mount point. So that's why the slash apps is also taking the same space from 50 GB. But our goal is to allocate a complete new disk to this slash apps right so now what we are going to do is we are going to mount slash dev slash sdb1 on slash apps right now the new sdb1 disk is mounted on slash apps and this time it will not take the space from the root mount point we'll again run this command df-h slash apps now, can you see the current size is 100 GB? Earlier it was 50 GB and it is mounted on slash dev sdb1. So now the slash apps, if you store anything under slash apps, it will be going into this 100 GB space. The 50 GB uh, root mount point space will not be used, right? So that's the benefit. Over here, you can see it is only 1% use. Now, once this is done, uh, the problem is if you restart your system, uh, you have to manually mount this disk every time. So to not to manually mount it every time you restart the server, you have to add this entry to the FS tab file. So vi slash etc slash FS tab. 
Now go to the end of the file, then give the disk name slash dev sdb1 and give the directory on which it is mounted slash apps. Give the file system type xfs and this one would be default and this would be zero space zero. Okay, save it. That's it done. So this is the way you actually add a new hard disk to your Linux server. It works uh, with almost all the Linux flavors. That's how you add it. First, you have to add it at the VM level. Then within the server, you have to format the disk, mount it on a directory.